right, Thursday morning. So now we're, what we've got is we've got a condition report and we've just had a, I've had a little nose round, but what I thought I'd do is I'll give you a quick tour and I'll give you a couple of pointers that we always look for when we're doing it. So we've come in. So if you have a look at this switch here, Rebs, this grid switch here. So you can see it's all fairly quite new, isn't it? You know, so look around. So you've obviously got a bathroom, we've got a fan isolator. So yeah, this does, on our first impressions, we have added the board cover off on the first impression. It did look as if it's been rewired, but it has got a mixture of harmonized and non-harmonized tables. Hey, it all looks pretty good. Oh, good. There's no USB sockets in here. I've noticed a couple of USB sockets. One of the reasons why you've got to look out for USB sockets is you can't do insulation resistance or you have to bypass them. Yeah. Because they have a transformer built in, don't they? So a little utility here. The thing is for utilities as well, is this day and age is for building controls, is you are supposed to have an extractor on it, but that's not really going to be affected by our regulations. So you can't really know it, but it should have, uh, on building controls, you should have. That's another interesting one. These smoke alarms, these Nest one, I noticed there was one upstairs and all, is that they don't actually do a heat alarm on these. So they're, they're not they're actually no good at whatsoever. We had that on that job over in where, didn't we? Yeah, we had yeah. to change them. So in here, so absolutely stunning house though, isn't it? Yeah, so this spur here probably does the socket or sink outside. We have to keep an eye out for that outside lights. This is all pretty simple. So you see over there where it's got the uh, little screen, so they've obviously got underfloor heat in there. And each one, so we have to have a look for the manifold, see if we can find that come through here. See, that's enough on there. That's probably why they've put it so far over because it's, it hasn't got a heat alarm. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the smoke alarm be affected by the hob. All that you've obviously got all these down lights, they look pretty new, but obviously, we've got to check each one for the connections, haven't we? Basic insulation, visible outside enclosure, and obviously, just make sure they're uh, fire rated because obviously, you've got habitable wheel rooms above. Yes, sir. yes, yes, up here. So, you've got three appliances and spurs, that's what we like doing. Look, see what above there that cool right yeah but there's no, nothing really against the rigs for that really just a bit shit in it right have a look here see we see i've opened all these i found these so you've got oven oven one combi warm so you'd hope that they'd, they'd have done them in that row wouldn't you where's the fridge then there's not one for the fridge one two three four one two three and that's the hole Where's the extractor one as well then? We'll have to figure that one out. So there's a USB socket here. So that's, that, that's even got a USB-C in that one. Oh, they are. Sweet. Yeah. We are gonna have a <laughs> charge up, of all charge up. So these have got the sealed one. These aren't so critical about being fire rated because obviously there's not a uh rooms above, you know what I mean? Habs for rooms like bedrooms and all that. That's the difference between this ceiling and that ceiling is because obviously you've got room. Go quick look upstairs. We can check to see if all the, because they've got dimmers on these and all, we check a few of the lamps to make sure that they're dimmable, yeah? Because we had that the other day, didn't we? Someone uh, with it flickery. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if the manifold's underneath here. Yeah, look. There you go. There you go. Little heat miser. Uh, looks like the stock cock's down there, so that 10 mil there. We'll have to one on one to lead to that. That's one hell of a find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll have a look up here. I've seen up here, yeah. Yeah, it's not as nice up here. It's stunning house. God knows how much, so it's just one socket in here. So this must be original part, because like, if you look, yeah. it's got the MK square socket. It's not as nice as downstairs. Downstairs is all been refurbed. I suppose when they've done that extension on the back. Yeah. It's nice though, isn't it? See, because that's got the nest stack there. So this must be, yeah, radiators. So they've got oh, five entrance of these. So obviously where we've got all these class one metallic light fittings, we're obviously gonna have to one lead all those, yeah? Yeah, sorry. As well. I noticed this bedroom. 
This bedroom over here must be the master. I was trying to get my arsehole, man. Yeah. So we've got USB sockets there, so it just means we can't do insulation. Well, we can do insulation resistance, it just means we've got to put the line of neutrals together. Yeah. And again, down right. What we, not, what we tend to do is we normally check one in each room, don't we, Ebs? Yeah, yeah. For the down lights, because you can't just take it like... Uh, because a house like this, we've had so much work done to it. Each room's probably been done by different contractors, isn't it? So yeah. you can't just take it for granted. These down lights are kind of a bit silly with the down lights along there, aren't they? But they've got all them there, and then they've got one here. No, that's right. You don't want to go over there. You don't want to go in there at the moment. I'll drop the kids off at the pole. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got this one. So we have to have a look for this cupboard to make sure. There's no power. Look. Is that mini trunk in there? There must be some. There's definitely got to be some sort of power behind there, isn't there? Yeah. There's a socket down there. See what I mean about where some of this is old because they've got all the square edge in okay, which is crap. Yeah, we'll have to have a look underneath them lower bits. Right, let's show the fuse board here. I'll do it's a different video here. So, yeah, go on then, do it all then. Do us a massive favour and like, subscribe and click a ring. It helps us out. And it helps the channel grow. It helps the channel grow. Yeah, 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 boy. yeah, so you've got these outside lights. We obviously have to make sure that these are all, uh, uh, from under lead, all these, as well as loops. So we've got a socket there. I don't know what that spur does. Is it a socket know, under there? Water features, yeah, we'll have to look. I think there's some lights, look. I don't know where that spur goes. Yeah. It's not too bad. Show them above where we're, we're going to have to repair them. We'll probably put a bit of fire sealing and see where they strip the cable too much. That's obviously been redone recently. But yeah, it's all in all, it looks like it's gonna be a bit of an easy one. So look, you can see the water and the gas up there, just showing up there. I don't really know what we can do about that because that, that obviously ain't fire rate <laughs> down there. What can we do about that? Well, we can just mention it because I don't know where, where that goes with our regulations today. It's that car charger, the geezer's bought it in a bit short. Is that an or is that high top? I think it's high tough. Yeah, it's high tough. But it's just fucking dog shit in there. Yeah, we'll sort that out for them anyway. We're here all day anyway because if we're a five bed, we can't guarantee how big it is, but we should get this done pretty rapid, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so most of the circuits, so if you look up there, harmonise. So obviously, where they've done their kitchen, they've just brought in that. That's uh, Yeah, so other than two, we've seen that. IH, well, immersion heater, do we see that up on the landing, didn't we? Yeah. Extension sockets must be that that bit around the side. Kitchen sockets, down lights. That C40, that is a car charger, in it? So that C40, see, see where these MCBs are different, that's a miniature one. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm 100% sure this has is double pole. Right. And that's the difference between them. You know, like the miniature ones, that's the difference between them. That's why they call cost more because obviously with a car charger, you've got to have double pole. <coughs> you've got to switch the neutral, which I think's always daft because I always just always thought that every RCBO was uh, double pole, but it weren't. That the excessive holes on the back. Uh, no point in cable through there. No, a bit rough, isn't it? A bit rough, but it's all right. It's even labelled there, so it should be all right. Yeah. Right, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm working with a peaky blinder. Hey, you ain't gonna slash me up today, Ebs, are you? Ebs chose the only one that's got three cables there because it's a back-to-back -back for the outside socket, Ebs. But it come out, come out quite well, didn't it? 
we have found a couple of little uh, little bits, but we're going to have to. Uh, I think we were repairing whilst we're here. They've got the uh, cable showing above the board, don't they? Uh, also, we need to fire mastic as the cables come in. I'll quickly show you where there's a cable in the garage that needs stapling up. You might have for that fire fire there. Have I? Well, we can't use. I'm gonna to have to tell the estate agents about that. That a bit above it because we can't be dealing with that. That's pretty serious. Well, it's yeah. I'll quickly show you. So far, there's like a cap missing from a pendant. So obviously that needs sorting because that's uh, live parts on the show. There's a bit there. See that cable there? That just needs stapling. It's never gonna fall down in the fire, but. We're just going to put a couple of staples, so there's a couple of bits up there. Let's see where the cables come through. That one there, we're going to have to push them in and then fire seal it, fire seal some of this back bit. Maybe put some banding on there. We, do, we do, wouldn't normally do this, it's just that the people are actually moving in next week and we just ain't got the time to come to fix it, so I'd rather just do it. And it's booked out all day, but we're absolutely flying for it because there's no one here, so we can absolutely isolate everything. It's absolutely gorgeous area as well, isn't it? Look. Gosh, beautiful. Yeah, most of these are little remedials we can do whilst we're here, Ebs, isn't it? But that bit above the board, they're going to have to get some handyman or builder or something just to close that up because that ain't for us to be doing. <laughs> no, I mean. Right, so that's us done. Uh, we need to put a bit of fill around this light, Ebs and all. So, Ebs, I'll probably put a photo up. Ebs had to uh, put that in a, uh, a whisker box with a two-call coming out of it, didn't it, Ebs? Yeah. You're just literally just tie wrapping the uh, sign onto the uh, the clamp. I'll show you the old version. You can have the label. Uh, we've done fire fix the board. This pendant didn't have a uh, lamp. There's, oddly enough, this is a mains nest one, but the others are battery, and I had to change the battery of that. So I had to go get them garage light laptop uh, updating. I'm having a little bit of problems with my old laptop recently. Uh, lucky enough, the lady, uh, Leslie, her brother, is an Apple expert. He works for a newspaper in Germany, and he is back over Easter. So, oi, 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 oi. And I've also got... How rough they've done that activators, I suppose it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, what's it called? I've actually got the keys to my uh, keys to my uh, company vehicle, Ebsy. Yeah, I know. Ebsy's got the old peaky blinder. So yeah, other than that, most of the stuff was all right in this. It just a couple of little bits, but because uh, we knew we wouldn't have time to come back for when the tenants move in, we've just done the remedials now. A little bit of filler on this, like please, baby cakes. Ooh. Yeah, because obviously we have to put them down. I'll put, you, put a picture up of what it looked like. Obviously, all we're checking for is to see if they're fire rated. Obviously, see what the connection is like for the basic insulation across a nation. Oh, la, la. Oh, la, la, Mr. Wu. Oh, la, la. Yeah, I'd love a house like this. It'd be decent. Now, maybe you can even have this nice bright room as your office. I think... The office is this one here. Uh, so I reckon this is probably one of my favourite houses we've worked in. Yeah, probably You can have that as an office, get Les in there. Shut up, Leslie! And then she can look after the dogs all day. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you get a bit of the feet and a bit of electric, up there, blues, you know. Bye.